第十四对表演题目是“哇哈哈，马哈哈”，计时开始。One day we have a new exchange student in our class, and she comes from Malaysia. Hello, everyone. I'm Janice, your new homeroom teacher. This semester, we have a new exchange student come from Malaysia. Is going to study with us for the semester. Mahaha, please come here to introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Mahaha. I come from Malaysia Senior High School, and I hope this semester I can learn more about Taiwan's culture and history. I've been waiting so long to be here. Can you introduce Malaysia's education system in brief? Of course, in our country, we go to primary school for six years and five years in the middle school. I remember late Malaysia was ruled by England, so it's eleven years of education. And if they want to keep advanced studies, then have to go to pre-university class first, then have exams. They what they call higher education, as known as like university. Why are you peeking at in the class? Oops, sorry. I'm just watching the animation of flying bear in Southeast Asia. What says? Is it good? This animation is about the new southbound policy made by Cultural Association and Taiwan Bar. It has so many knowledge about culture and history. It mentioned about Nyangya culture of Malaysia, but I still don't understand very well. Oh, this animation is the first video of collaboration between the two countries. Nyangya is the name of a Malaysian woman, and they have a special clothing. Nyangya apparel is the traditional clothing combined with. Chinese culture and Malay culture. The shirt has a Malay tool and salon design with Chinese dragon and phoenix totem. Other than Nyangya apparel, there are embroidered shoes. They use European cut beads to suit with. So their pattern is a combination of Chinese style and European style. Those things are mostly short up at the weddings. Oh, in the early stage of Haga Rural, there are also an address for females. It's called Say Moya, and if I'm going to say I am a girl, then I'll have to say Ngai He Say Moya. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Please after you repeat after me. Okay. And different countries have different cultures. Everyone has to face them with inclusive and respect. That's right. We all have to respect others, even if they might be different from us. Okay, class is over. See you again soon. Stand up. Thank you, teacher. After the school, the students are packing their bags and ready to go home. Hello, have you ever tried bubble milk tea? No, I haven't. What is that? Oh. It's a special beverage that's made in Taiwan. It's milk tea combined with tapioca balls. Oh, really? That sounds tasty. Maybe I can give you a try. Okay, let's go to buy it. I'm sure you are going to like it. Okay.
development oriented dedication to the communication, creating a vision of mutual benefit, and win win education, cooperation, and regional economy. Bow. Thank you. The fifteen team is Marriage is not a business deal. 计时开始。I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Okay. How long has this been going on? I don't know. Since we have been married, then why did you marry him? I'm from a small village in Pakistan. I grew up in a poor family, so my parents thought it would be best for me to marry outside Pakistan and help them out financially. I understand, but. Don't worry, I'll do my best to help you. Look at you! Look what you have done! She's your wife. Why did you hit her? You don't know anything. I know the fact that you abuse her. I'm calling my lawyer now. I'm not speaking until. Shut up and answer my question. I don't understand her most of the time. We have no chemistry, and she don't even cook Taiwanese food. Why did you marry her then? My parents forced me to. They thought the marriage could change me into a better person. Like I need her. I'm too good for her anyway. You're never too good for her. Listen, Rabia. I know it's hard for you, moving here and marrying someone you don't know. But you have to stay strong, and so I can help you. I'm from Vietnam. I came here on a marriage visa as well, so I can understand your feeling. Really? I never knew that you were from Vietnam. I couldn't tell. Well, it wasn't easy. I forced myself to learn Mandarin, get a degree, and become a social worker, because I want to help people like us. There's always hope. Everything will get better. I can't believe it has been five years already. Thank you, Ariana. If it wasn't for you, 
I would still have stuck with that horrible man. Well, it was all you. I was just doing my job. But I'm glad we became best friends, though. Hey, Rabia, listen to me. It's okay. I was abusive and treated you wrong. The person has changed me. He has been going to AA meeting for his drinking problem, and he has been clean for two years now. I'm glad the person has changed you. It's not easy for a person to admit his own mistakes. Listen, John, marriage is not a business deal. It doesn't matter where a person is from. We all deserve to be treated the same. Allah to me hamesha khushrakhe. That means Allah will bless you in future. Mm, how about let's go have dinner? Sure. Oh, sure. You're going to pay. All right, pay. I will pay. Thank, Thank you. you. The Scent from the South. Rose! Yes! Still, that unique glass eludes us. You're right. I have reported on coffee for years, and I have seen it all. None of the coffee beans have impressed me. Kenyan coffee, too whiny and tangy. Ethiopian, too delicate and lippy. Indonesian, too earthy and caustic. Costa Rican, Colombian, Argentinian, ah, nothing. In order for us to attract our customers to a cafes, we need that blend. Cheer up, buddy. That's why we're in Vietnam, the second largest producer of coffee worldwide. That's amazing. I really had no idea. In any case, I hope we get lucky. Let's go and have a whip around! Nice pun! What's that aroma, Natalia? Aroma? I smell blueberry, right? It's cranberry. A berry, definitely not blue. Your sense of taste has put our company in peril. So I've got this one. Hi. Hi. Good day. Welcome to Z Coffee. We have drink coffee. Chalice Espresso, hot latte, iced latte, cappuccino. Jimmy, you gotta taste this. There's a hint of blueberry and a pinch of cardamom. It's rich, smooth, and smoky. You are an expert coffee connoisseur. The blend, the blend is out of this world. world? Yes. Fireworks on your tongue? Yes, yes, it gives me the tingles! Really? The secret isn't just the coffee bean. The secret is in the brewing technique. The water must be at exactly 98 degrees Celsius. The coffee bean must be turned extremely fine. Then, at the ultimate water temperature, the water is pouring to the coffee. Stir, not shaken. And voila! Coffee is served. It is just awesomeness in a cup! Then, we have coffee with a twist. The twist is the ice version. Ice and our secret condensed milk recipe. Oh my lord! I'm in heaven, Jimmy! Have you? Have you ever thought of exporting this? Jimmy! No pressure, no pressure. We are just very excited of this plan. Was that a little too direct? But I see great potential. Yes, yes, we are very flattered. But I'm not sure we have the quantity. We are just a small farm. That's fine. Perhaps if we collaborate, we may be able to help each other. What do you have in mind? Jimmy is an expert in coffee farming. And Taiwan agricultural development is one of the best in the world. I think where you're going with that. We supply exclusively to you in Taiwan in exchange for a technological agriculture support, right? Uh, I want to go further. 
I intend to invest in all our cell phone policy partner countries, and I want you to be a partner of this adventure. Really? Really? We will be honored! The honor will be mine. Imagine. Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, even as far as New Zealand and Australia. Let's announce this to the world! Gentlemen, fellow coffee connoisseurs, lend me your ears. We have an announcement to make. Yes, we're proud to announce a promising partnership between our Taiwan partners, my friends, and us. Why Taiwan? It's simple. We are the number one coffee consumer per capita, and it's only growing. I think we are a match made in heaven. You have the bees, we have the means. Taiwan cell phone policy has made Taiwan an attractive destination to do businessing. Your people are famous for your goods and services. And as Wendy said, the government has opened to us. We are so excited! To Taiwan! To Vietnam! To, to coffee! One, two, three. Thank, Thank you! you. The seventh theme is Chain of Love. 计时开始。And his legs haven't functioned well since last month. And then his limbs started turning cold. Finally, his feet turned black. At first, we thought it was just a bruise. But things look much worse than we thought. Sorry, Mr. Chen. I haven't worked for a period of time. Recently, the pain has been so bad that I just roll on the ground. It's just like a living hell. Maybe it's some kind of disease. Do your neighbors have the same symptoms? Three days ago, the old lady told me that her feet started turning black. It seems like a big problem. I know a doctor back in Taiwan. Maybe she can help. Thanks for coming, doctor. No problem. What's the patient's condition? His foot turned black. Mr. Chen, doctor, please help Hold my on. dad. I don't want to die. Where do you usually get water? From the well nearby. We use underwater. Mm, manufacturers nearby? Not really. People here grow a large number of crops, like rice, wheat, and sugar cane. Sounds like over farming. The weather in Pakistan is hot and arid, so the soil needs to be irrigated heavily. This causes arsenic to infiltrate the underground, polluting the groundwater. Wait, this is black foot disease. What, what is that? This? Black foot disease broke out in Taiwan in the 1950s. At that time, people drank bitter water con contaminated with arsenic. So the peripheral blood in their circulate, and their limbs begin to blacken, just like your dad. Then, is that serious? What can we do? Our family, no. No, I don't want to lose you. Don't be afraid. Taiwan has the experience of treating black foot disease. Don't worry, I've got this. After the amputation surgery, the father recovers well. Besides, his son Ali decides to enroll in a medical school in Taiwan. To avoid the spread of black food disease, Mr. Chen makes efforts to talk to the local government and take effective action. On behalf of the Pakistani government, we are very grateful to the medical team in Taiwan coming for help. You're welcome. This is what we can do. Over 30% of your citizens have five times the level of arsenic in their bodies than the amount WHO considers safe. Hospitals in Taiwan have been assisting training Pakistani doctors and holding free clinics. Besides, the sanitation of our drinking water needs improving. 
Doctor, do you have any suggestions? It's better to promote the concept of environmental sanitation. We can put up posters in neighborhoods and organize the volunteer team to educate people. Good idea. Anything else? After that, install a water purification machine in each factory to make sure that the water is not mixed with heavy metal. Besides, it's time to start over irrigation to reduce the rise of heavy metal pollution. Water purification technology, it is still underdeveloped in our country. As for over irrigation, we will definitely work on that. In fact, Taiwan's water purification technology is doing quite well. I believe Taiwan government can help bring this technology to Pakistan. Also, you can send technicians to acquire knowledge from Taiwan. What do you think? Oh, it turns out that we have ignored so much. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Mr. Chen. We will do our best. Ten years later. Now that you finished your college, what's your next move? I have been aiming at becoming a doctor, and I hope to apply what I learned in Taiwan to Pakistan. In the past ten years, Taiwan's medical team has been running around in Pakistan. Do you want to join us? Sure. It's time to devote myself to helping my country. If I had not been sick ten years ago, we would not have the opportunity to learn more about black food disease and Taiwan's kindness. With the promotion and assistance of Taiwan's medical team, the number of patients with black feet has dropped rapidly. Water purification technology in Taiwan not only helps Pakistan, but also benefits other countries in South Asia. That's great. Although there is no official relationship between Taiwan and Pakistan, we are willing to give a helping hand and play a part in the world. Through the new Southbound policy, we can have a new vision through our generation. Yes. Through this experience, we build a stronger bond between Pakistan and Taiwan. Just because we are the world. Because, because of you, the, the world is more beautiful. Thank you. The eighth question is showing your tea power. Welcome to the annual tea testing competition. Behind me are the two test contestants. One of them will be the winner today. And the best tea leaves will be directly promoted into the tea market of Thailand. I'm trying to increase the production of tiny tea because the government has launched new South Belt policy. In addition to increasing the popularity of tiny tea around the world, it can also raise the quality of tiny tea. That's the reason why I join your list competition. Don't play the more than you can too. Look at my tea, the beautiful luster, the color, and the dryness. You can't compare with me at all. Okay, let's get to the point. Bye. 
nutrients in tea. For example, vitamin C, amino acids, and antioxidants. All of the substances are good for our health. I really don't want to miss such a wonderful product. How about when it's on friends to invest royalty and sell it in our country? Also, if we set up a company in Thailand, we can enjoy royalty every day. And then, the three ladies were busy for the preparation of their company every day. One day, the lady received a phone call. succeeding in making Thai tea popular all over Thailand. And the ladies make a big fortune. We should owe our success to the new South Bank policy of Taiwan. That's true. The new South Bank policy not only boosts us the regulations, but also provides more success. They are the main reasons for success. Success! We did it! Success! Yeah! One, two, three. Thank you! Mother Tongue Good news, boss! Sales department reports that our revenue in northern Vietnam increased to 20%. Hmm. Since the US-China trade war, uh, we couldn't help but shift our production line to Vietnam. However, the profit proves that it's absolutely right for us to follow the new southbound policy. It's truly our fortune, boss. Hmm, many thanks for your effort. Get off earlier and take a good rest. Thanks, boss. See you tomorrow. It's time to come on. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, mom. It's me. It's almost 7.30. Have you had dinner yet? Don't push yourself too much. Mom, I'm all right. You know what? Our performance is awesome. Will you come back to Taiwan soon? My boss is very satisfied with my job now. If I get promoted, I can get back to Taiwan soon. Hello? Mom? Mom? Ten years ago. Mom! Mom! Where are you? Mom! Mom! Where are you? Mom! 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 Can you teach me Vietnamese? Why do you suddenly want to learn Vietnamese? Uh, last summer, I went back to Vietnam with you. However, I could not communicate with grandma or other cousins. I'm so happy that you're interested in my marathon. Let's start with the greetings. Good morning is Zhao Bui Sang. Zhao Bui. What are you doing? Grandpa, mom is teaching me Vietnamese. Oh my goodness. You should not waste your time learning this unnecessary language. Um, I'm sorry, Papa. Before, I was strongly against your marriage. Whenever I hear our neighbors call you a foreign spouse, I feel ashamed. Now, you teach your son Vietnamese, you will make his classmates laugh at him. Grandpa, please don't be angry at mom. It's me who asked mom to teach me Vietnamese. Knock, knock. Hi, Uncle Rick. Ah, oh, yeah, come here. Hi, Papa. I'm here to ask for Minchu's help. How come? Minchu has only graduated from high school. I want to learn Vietnamese. What? You can speak good English. 
Isn't that enough? <sighs> Not enough anymore. Because of the U.S.-China trade war, my boss decides to move our factories to Vietnam. You are going to Vietnam? I hope so. If I can work there, I can get more pay. Ricky, don't worry. Most Vietnamese are very kind. Uncle, we can learn from mom together. I'm very glad to. Vietnamese become so important now. <sighs> of course, Dad. Not only Vietnam. All the ASEAN countries are developing at a tremendous speed. Fine, you can teach them. Yes. Mom, what's the greeting of the enemies again? Zhao Bui San. Uh, Zhao Bui San? No, 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 no. No, it's Zhao Bui San. Zhao Bui San. Nice. And thank you is Gaman. Gaman. Five years later, <clears throat> we now begin the relocation opening ceremony of VTV Corp. Let's welcome our new general manager, Ah Yin Chen. I'm here to welcome all the press guests for coming to this ceremony. Five years ago, our company transferred our product line to Vietnam and got a big success. We expect that our net income of our company will reach $300 million within a decade. Therefore, we decide to provide scholarships for more youth to study in Southeast Asia. Last but not least, I would like to appreciate my mother. She's a Vietnamese woman. She told me her mother tongue. Mom, I can speak her mother tongue now. Wow. Oh. The is a wonderful sharing. Hello, everybody. We all come to our YouTube channel, Big Four. A channel where we share the wonderful treasures all over the world. Hi, I'm David. I'm from Australia. Hi, I'm Adam from Malaysia. Hey, my name is Du. I'm from Vietnam. What's up, everybody? I'm Zhu Wei from Taiwan. Today, we would like to talk about Sometimes we all need in life. No matter where we are from. A very important topic. Food! We bring something today that is very typical for our countries. First here from me. Are you guys okay? What's wrong? Mm, no. What did smell? Something here smells like rotten milk. This is famous food in Taiwan. We call it chou tofu. What tofu? Chewy tofu? No, chou tofu. Chou tofu? Chou tofu? Well, actually, we usually call it stinky tofu in English. Makes sense, bro. You want to try some? Mm, no, thank you. No, believe me, it's actually very good. I mean, okay, why not? Really good. See, I told you. Yes, but the smell still terrible. What about you, baby? What do you bring? Good that you asking. Today I will introduce to you a very special food that you never had before. Da da da! Kangaroo meat. What? Kangaroo meat? Australia eat kangaroo meat because there are too many kangaroos on our island. We usually stir fry it or slow cook it. It's very yummy. Try it. Sure. Oh wow! I feel like Kangaroo right now is really cool! <coughs> hey guys, it's my turn. I want to introduce to you Nasi Lemau. Nasi Nana? No, 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 no. Nasi Lemau. Nasi Lemau. Good. It's rice cooked with coconut milk. We usually eat it with egg, from chicken, and the chili. Would you like to try some? Sure! Usually, it with our right hand. 
Oh, that's very similar to Indian people. Yes, we also have many Indian people in Malaysia. Cool. Hey, David, you are also not using chopsticks. Yes, Australian usually eat using fork and spoon. Oh, that's really interesting. But guys, I think it is time for my food. Da da, football. What? Football? Hippo? Hippo? No, football. Hey, it looks bit like bàn thảo. Yes, it's similar. But take a good look. The noodles are thinner and soup tastes different. I really like that one. Okay, finally, I think it's very interesting. Our food and the way we eat are different, but we can share together. Yes, the world sometimes seems to be very big and small at the same time. Yes, it is amazing that we can sit here together and share our culture with you. There are many things we can share in this world. Food, culture, memory, but most importantly, we can share the laughter because laughter sounds the same in every language. Yes, exactly. Anyway, thank you, you everybody for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to like our video and smash the subscribe button. We are Big Four. See you in the next video. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. The二十一对表演题目是 We are family 计时开始 Good evening, welcome back to the show We are family Let's move to another topic I'm curious, how many of you many year resolution? How many of you kept that? I don't make any this year because I haven't got around to my last one I don't know who came up with this tradition how do you celebrate the new year in your countries? Any special new year customs? We visit temples and offer food to monks. And the monks will give us a blessing and sprinkle holy water on us. He washes all our sins and bad up. But my favorite activity is the water festival. Who calls straight for water five? People flush water and one another. I love your street water fight. I've been there twice. In India, we also build temples during our New Year. But our New Year traditions are very different. For example, we cry, we gather together to cry our hearts out ahead of the New Year's Eve. We fast all day on New Year to cleanse of the sins. Based on New Year, a whole day, one special tradition. We eat banchan. Picking rice, meat, and bean leaves are wrapped in down leaves or banana leaves. It's delicious and it's in square. But we do have some eating taboos on New Year. We don't eat sweets because the ink is black. Black is our least favorite color. We don't eat ducks and shrimp either. Why? They are perfect option for reunion dinner. Crispy duck and Shaoxing wine shrimps are my all-time favorite. We don't eat them because ducks are stupid and shrimps food backward for some people who are thinking promotion. They had better not eat shrimps for the whole year. We also have eating taboos. We don't eat beef because cow is sort of a god and is widely worshipped among the Indians. I have read online news. He said that a cow is a holy animal in India, but the growing number of stray cows has become a problem, right? Yes, stray cows roam sidewalks in major cities. They brought traffic and cause car accidents. So if you ask me what I like best in Taiwan, my answer is definitely the traffic in Taiwan. I can't agree with you more. Thailand is one of the most congested countries for traffic. We don't have stray animals on the street, but driving in Thailand is a strange and dangerous adventure. Drivers have their own section of road. They don't follow any traffic signals. Their goal is to get to their destination ASAP. For example, I spent a 
only 10 million to the market in Taiwan. But I have to spend at least an hour on the same distance in Thailand. Do you know that traffic is one of the business tourist attractions? It's always amazing to watch. But it's not that fun when you need to cross the street. Vehicles expect you to fly away just like a pigeon before they run over you. Vehicles seldom start or slow down in fact. Basically, you just cross the street and they will avoid you. You mean even the traffic light is green for pedestrians? There will still be traffic coming from different angles? Sure. Remember one thing. Watch globally when local people cross the street or cross with them to protect yourself. And always be predictable to the vehicles. Try not to run or stop. Despite the chaos, the traffic is moving at constant speed. It's much better than the traffic in Thailand. Drivers stop, get stuck in traffic all year around. Wow, that's unbelievable. Thank you for sharing. We will be back after commercials. One, two. Thank, Thank you. you. Taiwan's economic resurgence on the horizon. Pondering on their future, Celia, Jacob, and Jing Yi are wondering with a confused look. Since we just graduated from the University Technology of Sydney, what we really also care about is our future. Should we settle down here or settle down other places? And maybe build up our own business run as quickly as we can. That's a good question. Can you guys remember? I have been appointed by Taiwan's new company. Yes, yes. Whoa, what's going on? Well, awesome. My hometown, Taiwan government, has recently launched a new South Bound policy to build a bridge between Taiwanese and Southeast Asian people, as well as Australians. The plan I mean to prompt we use to exchange our talent, the professional skill, and the culture. Let me see. That's right, Jacob. We really got a chance to show your talents for technology. And it says also visa free. So why don't we pay a visit to my hometown? Cool. What, what are, are you I waiting for? for? Hello, here I am. Hey, who's called? Oh, it's Mike. Look, it's the manager who invited me to join the company. Update. I'm surprised to learn that you're in Taiwan. I just want to remind you that the working place is ready for you. My friends also want to join the company. Perhaps it's the right time to seize the opportunity. Hey guys, this is Katie, the manager I talked about. A company tea party? Why not all this happening? The reason I'm making is that me last week said that all of you have performed in Taiwan Bank Clicknet, didn't you? Yes, now we need a new player and a weekly player. Let's start now.
talking about new sales bar company and economic researchers. Three years have passed. Celia, Jacob, and Jin Yi get into the same department, chemical engineer department. Oh wow! At the same time, Jin Yi bumps into a girl who looks confused. The essence of success. Begin. Bagus, great. I hope to learn more hairdressing skills while studying in Taiwan, so I can take them back to my hometown in Indonesia and start my own business. Why does this fragrance seem so familiar? My hometown also has a similar scent. What is it? I am specializing in producing essential oils and discovered there are many raw materials for making these oils from Indonesia. If I can refine the manufacturing process, then I can cooperate with the local Indonesians. My family specializes in farming patchouli. They are one of the most common ingredients which are used in Indonesian essential oils. Maybe we can combine our effort and resources. Yeah, great idea. By the way, what are you studying here in Taiwan? Well, I'm learning to be a hairdresser and hope to design dynamic hairstyles for Indonesians. My dad is Havanese and my mom's from Indonesia. I've grown up in a bilingual environment. I hope to develop my own career in Indonesia. But don't most Indonesian women wear hijab all the time? Who is going to appreciate with this invisible hairstyle? Hey! In my country, just because we don't expose our hair, doesn't mean we don't care about our hairstyle. Calm down, you guys. She just doesn't have deep understanding about our culture. For us, hair is not only the extension of femininity, but also a way to express ourselves. No matter we're Muslim or not, dressing up makes us feel pleasant. I'm so sorry. I should show more respect to other cultures. If I have offended you and made you feel uncomfortable, I really apologize for it. Hey, you know what? Catherine and I are going back to visit her parents this week. Why don't you come with us? Great idea. Let's go pack our bags. Let's, Let's go. go. Patchouli gives people much more sense of serenity. 
It can not only relax your nerves, but also treat insomnia due to depression. Since we have the high quality essential oil and professional hairdressing skills, why don't we launch a spa? Yeah, totally yeah, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. New Southbound Policy: A New Vision for a New Generation. Morning. Oh hi. What are you reading? You mean this one? This is a Vietnamese book. You are so diligent. Why are you reading it? That's because my mom is a Vietnamese. She wants me not to forget my mother tongue. I'm also interested in Vietnamese. Can you teach me? No problem. This language is not as hard as you think. Like this, Sin Chao. Sin Chao. Hey, catch! Ooh. Ooh. Let's talk in Vietnamese. I'm learning Vietnamese too. Why are you also learning it? Is it fun? Yes. My dad is a Taiwanese businessman, and he works in Vietnam. He hopes I can also learn Vietnamese to help his career. What line of business is your father in? Well, my dad sells bubble milk tea in Wu Zhimin City. Wow! That's fantastic! So, why may your dad invest in Vietnam instead of going to America or Japan? Well, I guess it's because the cost of investing in tea in Vietnam is lower than Japan or America. Oh, I see. Hey, by the way, what are your plans after returning to Vietnam? Mm, let me see. I hope I can bring the knowledge that I gained in Taiwan back to Vietnam to help the local industry. Yeah, I also intend to help my father's career in the future. Hey, look. Bubble milk tea in Vietnam's tea industry. Mm, the growth rate has surprisingly doubled over the past five years. The current market size is about 280 million US dollars. Wow, amazing! Why does Taiwanese bubble milk tea sell so well in Hu Jimin City? That's because the Vietnamese have a very high acceptance of our Taiwan's bubble milk tea. Do you guys know why? I know, mm -hmm. our bubble milk tea is world famous. Yeah, I pretty much like Taiwanese bubble milk tea. And also I feel Taiwanese are very enthusiastic and hospitable. To tell you guys the truth, I love it very much. That's true, we welcome foreigners from all around the world. Our Taiwanese government has also begun to promote a new South Bank policy. Yeah. Cooperating with new Southbound policy, Vietnam and Taiwan can create great business opportunities and high-profit trade relations. That's a cool thing. 
Yeah, I also know that this education policy and talent exchange are the part of this policy. I received this exchange opportunities in Taiwan and meet you guys. Oh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Hey guys, listen. Have you heard about whole factory export? Not really. What's it about? Whole factory export? Yeah. I don't know either. Yeah. The whole factory export contains machinery, appliances, and sales techniques. Oh, so the investor has to get over time, space, and even deal with cultural differences. Yeah, and there are many factors to be considered. Besides, how to survive in different plants and cultures is another important thing to think about. Cool. And I think this whole factory export is good for the new sales bond policy. Mm. Aha! I have an idea. We can go to Vietnam to start a factory making bubbles. Oh, bubbles. I like that. So now we have to study hard and when we are older and wiser, we can build... I got it! I got it! Aha! We can build up bosses of the factory in the future. Even better, we can also help the Vietnamese to have more working opportunities and allow us to promote trade with the Vietnam. We can set up our headquarters in Taipei and build factories in various parts of Vietnam or Southeast Asia. Then we can help Taiwan have a stronger economic growth. Oh! Oh! That's right. After learning so much about the new South Bank policy and enriching our own strength, I want a cup of bubble milk tea now. Here, Here we, we are. are. We believe that the future of Taiwan and the world will be harmonious because of our bubble milk tea. Cheers! That's all. Thank you. The 25th performance theme is Change Palms into Palms. Start. Maybe this one? 
Hey, Peter, you are really a professional designer. Really? I'm flattered. Ah, oh, I got an idea. Why don't you sell your batik clothes? We can use your batik method, but to sell more practical textiles. Taiwan has an advanced textile industry. We can attract eco-conscious customers by using recycled fibers made from plastic bottles. I, I, I don't think it will work. This is too risky. It seems to be riskier to form the palm trees. They must kill you when they burn. Yeah, but... Annie, why not give a hand to our rainforest and precious cultures? Hey, I got it. We can really change palms into palms. All right, perhaps it's really time to change. Great! Welcome to New York's Fashion Week. This time's feature brand is called Changing Palms into Palms. Let's welcome the owner of the brand, Peter Waluyo from Indonesia, and his partner, Laura Chen from Taiwan. Hi everyone, I'm Peter. I'm Laura. Our clothing uses recycled materials with Indonesia's batik dyeing method and Taiwan's seamless knitting skills. In fact, this process was recently used to produce all the team dresses for the FIFA World Cup. More than that, our friend has our people to stop growing palm trees and to save the rainforest. Last, I would like to invite an important person to say something. My grandma. She originally farmed palm trees, but finally changed her ways. I, I, I would have never imagined that this would work. I would like to thank Taiwan for its new southbound policy. The policy has proven to be an economic boon for both our countries. I would like to invite everyone to join us in spreading our core value. To change palms into palms! Let's work together and share in our view. Versatile innovation from the ecology of the world. A, a new solution to an old problem. A new vision for a new generation. Thank you. The二十六队表演题目是 Southbound Breakthrough Southbound 计时开始 Miss Huang? Oh, Vivian, sorry to make you come in our day off. It's no trouble at all. As you know, hope net in recent years has been falling behind our competitors considerably. So we really need this, need this project to be a success. <laughs> I'm sure it will, Miss Huang. Now, where are those two imbeciles? Sorry, sorry! So we are a little late. We have you been? You have five minutes left. How did you keep Miss Huang waiting? Do you have any ideas how important this project is for the company? I'm sorry. We had to carry out a final system check to be sure it will work for the demo. We have investors and government officials expecting a resource by mouth end. How on earth can Taiwan keep its status with the WTO with this kind of incompetence? I have a good mind to fire you and send you back to Vienna. Now, now, Vivian, let's not wait to talk to Owen. This company can only succeed with the hard work and dedication of our, of our workforce. Without them, we both won't have a job. No job? Mr. Matt, don't do that. It's down. It's down. Sorry, Miss Huang. What did you say? What do you mean? It's done? Yes, Mr. Matt. It's ten. Re ready for mass production. You're a month ahead of schedule. The board of investors and the government will be pleased. This can put Taiwan and Vietnam at the look for forward from medical science. How did you manage it? It's mostly Owen. Owen? Yes, luckily his knowledge in computer programming and his contest in Vietnam allows us to iron out some fundamental issues with that no scratches. Owen, please accept my apologies for earlier. I shouldn't have spoken to you in that manner. I treated you as a winkling and that was wrong. 
That's okay, Miss Cho. No, it's not. I took it out on you as a non-Taiwanese employee. When I should be treating employee equally and with more respect. So, would you like to see it in action? What are you waiting for? Okay, as the population increased, the number of but the number of fortune doctors is in decrease too. But we don't have a we have to visit the doctor the num uh, number is in decline. So as per your request, Mr. Matt, the self diagnosed full bar scanner, you have added all the features you requested. Yes, the machine will scan your entire body in just five seconds once you have inserted your health card. You have the option to add the following symptoms via voice control, keyboard input, or multiple choice questions. And, and Mr. Matt will print out the prescription and dispense medication upon payment. It can also administer vaccination and injection via the AI function here. If Mr. May sees the health concern more serious, you will automatically refer the patient to a nearest medical center. You can even contact a taxi, Uber, or recommend a bus route to get you there swiftly. Did I mention it's auto cleansing too? Wow! I don't know what to say. You are incredible. It's even better than I imagined. Finally, we can reduce the burden on our health carers. It will also reduce the spread of common viruses, spread through waiting rooms, schools, public and workplaces. Thanks for watching.